Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna have another video about Abyss of Legends and once again I'm gonna be doing my best to kind of explain uh, the thought process I believe you should have when you are selecting your team for Abyss of Legends. Obviously if you are one of the lucky players who have all four horsemen then it's a relatively easy decision just slap them four in plus if you need somebody to deal with either Havoc or Killmonger wonderful but that's only on two path other than that you just going even with four champion slots and you're gonna do perfectly fine uh, but obviously there are many people who do not have one or several of these uh, so-called four horsemen for those of you who do not know four horsemen are uh, basically the best champions for abyss or as a combination of a best champions for abyss and they consist of Aegon, human torch dr doom and nick fury now all of that being said obviously many people do not have uh, at least one of those four or maybe more and then I quite often get messages from people asking uh, me to help them to select or quote-unquote replace let's say human torch and then they ask me can and you know, void replace human torch because void also has heal reversal and so on and so forth but uh, I continuously end up um, finding myself explaining that that is not how it works and uh, four horsemen are not a boy band you're not replacing a missing member of a boy band uh, you need to be able to deal with the fights uh, there is no other champion like one of those four let's say and no other champion in the game can do exactly all of the same fights than uh, either of those four horsemen can do but uh, at the same time I think with this whole idea of can that champion replace this champion uh, people are losing the sight uh, and the objective of the task at hand and the task at hand obviously is to complete the quest uh, so whenever anybody asks me for like a help uh, how to pick a team in Abyss I always write down every single kind of like a fight, uh, every single encounter that is on the path and then assign that fight the champion that you're going to be using. And then basically you have each fight an assigned champion, especially if you know some of the champions that you will definitely 100% be bringing in with you. And uh, then for the rest of those it's up to kind of like you or us to figure out who are capable of dealing with these fights. Now. Uh, to show exactly what I mean, I'm going to demonstrate on myself, on my account. Now, I know my account is large and I have all of the four horsemen, but for the sake of an, an argument, I'm going to assume that I have none of those four horsemen and I'm going to be working with like a limited amount of champions. And uh, yeah, so with that, we can jump on to the actual game now and we're going to be designing the fights. And as we are going to be designing these fights, I'm going to be writing down the encounter. So here I took the liberty of listing up all of the fights on so-called easy path. Uh, also, if you have Human Torch uh, or perhaps Captain America Infinity War, it's important to note that easy path perhaps is not the one that you want to do. You want to do the mixture of path 3 and 1. I have made a video about it. Uh, a while ago how you can design your own path and basically there is another way how to complete it with less encounters and more cheesable fights but either way for the sake of an argument this time we will be discussing uh, the easy path so here we have a list of 20 fights these are all of the fights uh, that uh, uh, we will be taking on our way to collector and I'm going to be assigning them like a counter, a champion that I'm going to be using. Now, do remember that I do not have any of the four horsemen, quote unquote. <laughs> and I'm going to try and use uh, some of the more kind of like popular champions that are typically and commonly ranked, I guess. Uh, so, first things first, for Thing, I think uh, we're going to go ahead and throw in a st Stealth Suit Spider Man. So, I'm going to write Stealth and then immediately as I throw in Stealth Suit Spider-Man I'm gonna look for any and all encounters where I would comfortably and likely use Stealth so uh, Quake definitely uh, could be one of them and after Quake Medusa if I must but I will try and leave that to a Mystic Champion Ghost absolutely no problem 
Uh, now you can change your mind later as well, obviously, if you bring in more appropriate counters, but I'm just kind of like speedballing here. Uh, now for Joe fix it, Mordo cannot away, cannot miss. Uh, you can try. Again, uh, you can edit this list afterwards, but I'm just trying to kind of like demonstrate how typically my thought process here goes. Howard the Duck, probably quite well idea as well. Why not? Crit a lot and uh, let's go. So Hyperion, probably not champion if I must. Uh, but I probably will want to use a Mystic Champion for that. Cyclops, probably no. A Loki, if I must. Stealth, Aegon, absolutely, why not? And Invisible Woman, you ha we have the Slaughter Bypass myth, miss. So that's one of the bigger questions to answer. So we have already kind of like filled a large portion of the encounters that I will use Tell Spidey for. As we all know, typically you do want, let's say, some Mystic Champion in you to help you with your nullifiers. Now, you can technically get away with not running a Mystic Champion if you're running She-Hulk, because She-Hulk can cover a lot of of those fights where you would use uh, Stealth Suit, uh, sorry, uh, Mystic Champion as well, because she deals with Unstoppable so well. And now if we jump to our Mystic tab, assuming, let's say we're not running She-Hulk, and uh, we could bring in, let's say, most of these Mystics, to be fair. And uh, for sake of an argument, because, uh, I don't know, Morningstar is getting a lot of love lately, and I know for a fact that Morningstar is a relatively decent encounter for a lot of these fights. Uh, so here, let's bring in uh, Morningstar. So Medusa, we can use Morningstar for sure. Why not? Uh, Furies, Nullify, easy peasy. Uh, Captain Marvel movie, Morningstar, probably decent. If not, we're going to try and replace that with something else. Joe fix it, definitely not. Venom the Duck, easy Morningstar fight. Uh, Howard the Duck, I don't think Morningstar is overall too great for it, might be good, but who knows. Uh, so there's nothing wrong in kind of like put, putting a dash and putting MS here, I guess. And what else we have? Hyperion, Morningstar for sure. Champion, Morningstar, Cyclops, do not know. Call Obsidian. Let's use Morningstar. So now in between two champions only, uh, we have covered a large amount of the fights that are here, right? Obviously there's always a choice uh, and the problem of Collector. And if you're not running a gun, then Collector is gonna be a huge, massive pain in the bum. Uh, but as I have kept saying, Corbus is always a decent option for Collector. It's still gonna cost you <laughs> a whole lot of units because of the nature of the fight. Uh, but uh, we might as well just go ahead and put in Corvus here as the encounter for Collector. So now I have two champion slots left and I have to cover Cyclops, which I can probably use either of these champions. I'm Infinity Ward, Joe Fixit, Mephisto and Omega Red. So with Mephisto the idea is that you need somebody that is... Uh, Incinerate immune. Otherwise, the fight's going to be extremely difficult. Now, you can get by with Blade, and that's a worthwhile note as well. Blade definitely can see you through some of these fights, uh, but it's not the best suggestion, in my opinion. Uh, and now that means we're going to be looking for an Incinerate immune champion, and uh, we're going to be simply picking Havoc, I guess, because I know Havoc can deal with this fight. It's not going to be uh, the easiest fight, but I know that Havoc can do it. And it's one of the kind of like less than ideal counters, but therefore I kind of want to use it as an example that uh, it works. So for this one, plus you can try Havoc for some different fights as well. Why not? We're going to be putting in Havoc. And where is that? Because my fist, oh yeah, is one of the key fights you need to answer for. And uh, now that we have put in another champion that, in my opinion, will be able to deliver quite a bit of amount of damage, I can try and put in my Havoc here against as well Cyclops, why not? And now 
um, Omega Red would have worked really well. Not too sure. Uh, we have Iron Man Infinity War and Joe Fix It. I think Havoc playstyle would work relatively well against Joe Fix It. No? We're gonna see. Against Joe, for now, we can put in just simply Stealth Suit Spider Man. Uh, it's not too bad. So now we're left with Iron Man Infinity War and Omega Red. Now, Omega Red, I can probably use any of the champions that realistically I already have. But Iron Man Infinity War could be potentially relatively annoying. Ideally, if I can, I want something with either True Strike or something that deals with Iron Man's abilities. And uh, for the sake of it, obviously, you can just pick something <laughs> that you have available for yourself. Uh, we have Cosmic Mutant, Mystic, and Skill Champions. Uh, since we have Cosmic, Cosmic Champion, perhaps Captain America Infinity War can work decently well. Uh, perhaps who else could we use here for Iron Man Infinity War? Those last 15% would be really annoying. You can probably just bring in Void if you have ranked up Void higher than I have. Uh, if you have ranked 5 Void. In my case, I would just bring in, let's say, one second. Uh, who are we going to bring in? Uh, I suppose I can bring in Warlock, because Warlock should also have relatively. No, well, Warlock is not going to be perfect for a Mega Red fight, though. I think I'm going to bring in Sentinel. We can say Sentinel. Sentinel should work quite well because uh, Sentinel will be able to shred that Omega as well, for instance. And uh, if I'm going to need help of Sentinel, I can use him against Cyclops. And Sentinel should be able to deal with Iron Man Infinity War relatively decently as well, thanks to Heavy Attacks and Shock. Uh, and you have access to Armor Break, so I can disable Black Champions getting power. So yeah. I'm going to bring in Sentinel. So I'm going to put in Sentinel. And I'm on Infinity War Sentinel. So now we have made an example of an Abyss team uh, with kind of like a limited amount of champions. I personally didn't go for like the perfect answers everywhere, even though I definitely had better answers for like, like Mephisto or many of the other fights. But as we can see here, uh, I hope we can anyways, one second, let me just uh, move away from the screen. So yeah, here we can see uh, relatively decently that uh, we have full list uh, covered. We know what you're going to use for which fight. And we did it within five champions, which is exactly what you want to do. And this hopefully is going to be a helpful way how you can uh, make your own Abyss team regarding uh, all the encounters, uh, figuring out who are viable options against what, uh, so on and so forth. So this definitely would be kind of like my suggested and recommended method for you guys. And uh, it works. It has worked already for quite a few people. I know because they have uh, let me know so after they have asked for advice and completed that abyss. Additionally, just wanted to note once again, do not stick to clearing that uh, easy path by itself. As I mentioned quite often, I personally uh, suggest people and when I did my Horseman Less Abyss run, that's also exactly what I did. I went down Darkhawk, Luke Cage, all men Logan, Havoc, Dormammu, Joe Fix It, and then kind of like finished on the lane one because that lets you bypass the Mephisto, so it lets you bypass the need of having the Incinerate immunity. It also lets you bypass Captain Marvel movie, which can be quite an annoying opponent. Yes, you have like Luke Cage to deal with, but it's not end of the world. Havoc can be quite easy encounter if you're using Heal Reverse, so can Old Man Logan. Uh, Dormammu is nothing too scary uh, as well and then the rest of the fights are kind of like the same so I would personally definitely choose to deal with Darkhawk, Luke Cage, Old Man Logan, Havoc and Dormammu instead of fighting Iron Man, Infinity War, Ghost, uh, uh, Captain Marvel movie, Medusa, Mephisto, Thing, Quake, Omega Red so there are less fights there and uh, in my opinion overall easier fights as well. Uh, 
all of that being said and done, I certainly do hope that uh, this video has helped at least a couple of you to kind of like settle some sort of uncertainties and perhaps do uh, a run at Abyss of Legends quite a bit easier and maybe a bit more well structured. And if you think this will help you or has helped you, then definitely hit that like button, definitely hit that share button, share it with your friends, share it with your alliance mates. And uh, I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya.